Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System project tutorial for beginner. So this will be the last tutorial of this Hotel Management System playlist and in this tutorial we'll fix a few things and but before that let's go and just go through what we did throughout the whole tutorial. So first of all uh, here if we go down here you can see our room those are coming from the database table which admin added and here you can see gallery which we also added from the admin dashboard and contact us here you can see so the user can send a message to the admin and admin can see the message and also send a mail to that certain user so uh, okay let me just show you one more thing and that is okay first of all let me just log in as a user so here we'll keep the user's email and the password then click login and there you can see the user is logged in and if we just go down and here you can see room details if we click on room details it will show us that certain room and here you can see since the user is logged in it will automatically show the name email and the phone number and the user will be able to modify their email or phone number if they want and here you can see the booking start date and the booking end date let me just uh, try to show you so right now we give the end date so right now if we click over here and let's choose the month november and we'll choose the day five and now click on book rule there you can see it's reloading and that will book successfully and if someone else tried to book the room at the same date then that user won't be able to book the room it will show the user a different message let me just show you let's just try to book the room at the same date let's just select a november month and uh, we book the room from november on to november 5 right so let's choose the date from 2 november date 2 to november date 5 let's choose november the date will be 5 and if we now click book room there you can see room is already booked please try different date so we are able to apply proper logic for booking a certain room and uh, let me just show you the admin dashboard let's just log out from here and let's try to log in as admin so we'll keep the admin gmail and the password then click login there you can see it took us to the admin dashboard and from here we let the admin add any room over here admin can add the room from here admin can also able to view all the room from here admin can update or delete those and here you can see the bookings admin can see all the bookings admin can also approve or reject any booking they can also delete it and here you can see the gallery option admin can add any images from here or delete any images for the gallery and here you can see the messages admin can see all the messages over here and if the admin on admin can send a mail to that certain user and the mail will be sent to this gmail user's email so if i now click on send mail admin will be able to give the greeting mail body and admin will also be able to give a link to the user in the mail and the inline like thank you very much or something like that so those are the things that we did in our hotel manager system project tutorial so this is the last tutorial and we are going to fix a few things in this project so let's just log out from here and here you can see we have our room option and we have all the room over here so what we'll do is that if the user click on our room it will only show the user the our room it means all the rooms in a different place so for it let's go back to our code and we'll just directly go to our uh, resources then views and inside views we'll go to the home folder and inside home first of all we'll go to the header section and there you can see header.blade.php and if we go down here you can see our rooms so here in the h step we're going to give rule second bracket and we say here url to first bracket to single quotation we say here our underscore rules so let's just save it and let's go to our route then web.php let me just go down let me just copy a route from here control c and we'll paste it over here we use a uh, home controller home controller and our route name will be our rooms so we'll just paste it over here our rules and the function name will be our rooms as well the route type will be get so let's save it and let's go to our home controller 
will go to app http controller then home controller let me just directly go down and here what we are able to do is that we'll say here public function our rules to first bracket then to second bracket from here we'll just return a view we'll say return view and the view name will be home dot our rules okay so right now let me just go to the home folder and inside home folder we will create a file called our underscore rules dot blade dot php so control s and set so here what we'll do is that we'll just directly go to our home folder in the start blade dot php so i'm going to copy everything from here control a control c and we'll paste it over here control v so from here what we'll do is that we will uh, remove the slider and the about section then we'll also remove the gallery contact section as well and also this javascript code as well so let's just save it and let's go back if we now refresh here and let me just go at the top and here you can see the our room option so if you click on our rules there you can see it will show us the error undefined dollar rules and here you can see for this dollar room as dollar rule so what we'll do is that we'll go to our phone controller again and here we'll declare a variable called dollar rule equal to here we we'll mention our model name which is rule and we we'll say here all to first bracket after it we'll give a comma here and we'll say here compact to first bracket it will be wrong let's save it then let's refresh here and there you can see it is showing us the header section and only the our room part and we also have the footer section as well so let me just explain what we did is that uh, in the header section we mentioned this url our room and on someone click on this our room option it will call the web.php this route will call our home controller our room function and our home controller our room function will get all the room data store it in this room data room variable and send those data to this view which is home dot our rooms and if you go to our, our rules here we can see we have included home dot rule and if we just go to the home dot uh, room dot z dot pastry here you can see that we have the for each loop room dollar rule as rules so using this dollar rules we are able to show all the details about the room this is the our room part so after the our room uh, let's fix the gallery and contact section so let's go back and right now let's go to the header.blade.php and here you can see the gallery so we'll do the same thing we'll give to second bracket then we'll say here urn to first bracket to single quotation and we are going to say here hotel underscore gallery let's save it and let's go to our web.php again let me just copy this then paste it here and we're going to say hotel underscore gallery or control c then here we'll paste it the function name will be hotel gallery and we use the home controller so let's go to our home controller let me just copy this control c and we'll paste it here and it will be our function name will be hotel underscore gallery so we'll paste it over here and we'll declare a variable called gallery over here okay but before that let me just go to the hole and then gallery.blade.php and here you can see use the for each loop like this dollar gallery so we'll declare this variable over here dollar gallery equal to we'll mention our gallery model now we'll say here gallery let's just keep the g capital and we'll send this gallery variable to this to a view and the view name will be hotel underscore gallery so right now let's create a hotel underscore gallery in the home folder so we'll click on the home folder then click new file and here we're going to say hotel underscore gallery dot let dot php control s and save so again we'll do the same thing we'll just go to the okay let me just go to the index.blade.php we are going to copy everything from here and we'll 
paste it in the hotel underscore gallery over here. We are going to remove uh, this time the contact page, uh, contact option, then the room and the slider. After that, let's also remove this skip part as well. And okay, so we are done. So right now, let's just save it. Let me just explain. So here in the header section, if someone click on this gallery option, it will call this URL, hotel underscore gallery. And this URL will call the home controller this function and our this function will get all the gallery data and send those data to this view and our view will show us all the gallery images so let's save then let's just refresh here and if we now click on this gallery option class gallery not found uh, okay so let's go back and we'll go to our home controller again and I think we did not mention the gallery model name. So let me just go at the top and here we're going to say use app backslash models backslash it will be gallery. Let's save it again. Then let's refresh. And there you can see once we click on the gallery option, it will show us all the gallery images. So let's also do the same thing for the contact space. And that is let me just go down and here you can see contact us this is the contact us section so we'll do the same thing over here as well so let's go back and we'll again go to our hidden.blade.php and here you can see contact us so here we will shown the url i mean to second bracket first then we we'll say here url to first bracket to single quotation and we'll say here contact underscore us Let's save it and let's go to our web.php. Let me just copy this. Then paste it here. And here we're going to set contact underscore us. We'll use the home controller and the function name will be the same thing. Contact underscore us. So right now let's go to our home controller and create this contact us function. So we'll go to home controller. Let's just go down and here we are going to say public function contact us to first bracket then to second bracket. Let's just return a view. We'll say here return view and the view will be home dot contact. Let's just say home dot contact and we'll also get the so here uh, for the contact us section we are not showing any data from the database table. So we'll just return this simple view. So let's just go back to our code and we'll go to our home and here we're going to say, okay, contact.blade.php already exists. So let's just say here contact underscore us. Let's just save it and let's go to our home folder and click on new file and we'll say here contact underscore us dot blade dot php control s and save. So let's go to our index.blade.php. Let me just copy everything from here. Control A, Control C. Then we'll go to contact us.blade over here. Paste everything. And let me just remove the skip code from here. Then we'll remove the gallery, room, about, and the slider section. So let's save it. We only keep the header, contact, and the footer section. Save. Then let's just refresh here. Then we'll click on this contact us option and it is only showing us this option. So let's just remove this about section from here. So I think that's not needed. At least for now, if you want, you can keep it. So I'll just remove this. Save, then refresh here. And there you go from our room gallery contact us section. So everything is working over here, every link and every option. So right now, what we'll do is that, uh, let me just go back and we'll go to web.php and in the previous tutorial, I showed you how we can use middleware. So we are going to add this middleware for each and every admin controller. So let me just copy this. And for every admin controller, we are just going to paste this middleware so that a regular user can't have access to the admin dashboard. So we'll paste it here then here then here we'll just copy the middleware this arrow sign middleware auth admin okay 
and we will only do this for the admin controller let me just select everywhere for the admin 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 and i think there is a few more let me check here you can see admin admin and admin i think uh, those are all paste it over here and this is extra semicolon so i'll just remove it and there you go so right now let's just save this let's refresh here and right now only the admin will have access to the admin dashboard not a regular user let me just show you let's just logged in as a regular user let's give a password click login there you can see we are logged in as a regular user and you, let me just go to the web.php and uh, here you can see view underscore gallery which uh, should have only access to the admin so right now if a regular user try to go to this view then it will send the user to the home base again okay so this was all about the hotel management system project tutorial i added more or less everything that is required to create a hotel management system i hope this tutorial is useful to you if you have any question or if you want to suggest me any project idea you can just let me know in the comment section thanks again for watching and i hope to see you in the future tutorials